Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This'll be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What um, do you mean, Avi? Trust. Not everybody in New Richmond is bad. Some of them can be trusted. Seems like it's hard to know who to trust. It's not easy. Even your father got fooled. Oh no. Can we just take him out? How do we know if we can trust him? We can't. But that doesn't mean we can just kill him. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. You won't do anything to me. I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. That sounds I can risky. do this. Well, that's a risk. And he'll probably trust you because you're David's son, but I don't... Right. I, I can do this. Gabe, wait! Hey! Oh, hey. I saw something. Show me. Well, so I have to do my work right now. Armory door, okay, open it. Okay, so... Oh, who's that? I think it's Gabe. Escape, of course. <sighs> wasn't so risky. That wasn't what I wanted you to do. Whatever. It was no big deal. Is everything good? It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Oh, no. Just break it down? I have to do this the hard way. You can make it. Again. It did make noise. Armor, isn't it? So let's just grab our things. There's my bed. And AKs, of course. With customized skin. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Drop it. Oh no. What the hell are you doing here? 
What are you doing with all that? Trying to help. Trying to help. I know you're pissed at me, but I want to do the right thing. For your brother. For him, for the rest of my family, for everyone. Yeah. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. Debit. My brother is in over his head and the water is rising. He needs our help. You're damn straight he does. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. We go now. Because what Joan is doing is wrong. I guess I can't really say no to that. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. Okay, she's good. So, where is she? Oh, man. Come here. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, ready for anything. Oh. Freeze! Oh, no. Oh? Get away from me! Oh, man. He did it. Don't oh, man. Oh, Just die. Yeah, not out. Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah. sees him. Okay. Just toss him out. In the room. Okay. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Lingard. He isn't good. Take that knife somewhere, please. They already decided with John. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Okay, so it's just me. Lingard. Who's that? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, <sighs> that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. What did you Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I guess, I think so. I'm mostly here to talk with Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this? You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In yeah, much worse conditions. You'll be fine. 
Huh. Well, let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> oh, Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. What's happened? I started bleeding. <gasps> I know, it's a thing. Oh, I've man. traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? Oh. I mean, like, why is it... I just <sighs> don't understand. Um, you're growing up, man. It means you're growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Okay. She's becoming... a woman. Okay, let's just open the drawer. Here we go. Oh no. Fast find was that thing. Okay. Can I keep it to her? Um, maybe. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Now I just need a needle and sutures for stitches. Okay. The work is done. Kinda. I never thought of finding that thing. Okay. So let's just... Again, search my things. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Penicillin, okay. What about that one? Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Okay, so not again. Um, put them back. No thanks. That would be good. So, oh, there is something. Just pills. Nothing else. Rich. Okay. Is there something else? Okay. Only Clementine. Okay. Wait. Can I talk to her? Now I just need a needle and sutures for stitches. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. Let's just source this thing. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Okay. So now, can I talk to the ling lingered slap? <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! <sniffs> nah. Wow. That guy is really out of it. He really took a hard truck. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Can you hear me? Does he look like he can hear you? He's just out of it. Okay. Can I talk to the Clementine? Think I remember how to do this. Yeah. You do remember. Okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural born mother. Okay, it's about another flashback story. Let's see. And Kenny. It 
That's a butterfly. <laughs> Goofball, want another? <laughs> Which one to do next? Hmm. Um. How about... Rabbits. Hippity hoppity. <laughs> Is that our dinner? That's a pretty good rabbit. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Light. And what about that one? Just a second, goofball. Voila. Oh, hey, man. get away from him. <laughs> Okay. You. Knock out. Is he okay? Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. Still not bitten. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. <laughs> Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. I would. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck. Well. Now, that was a, a long time ago. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking. It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. All the... There aren't any good people anymore. If there aren't, it's... because we keep losing them. Like Sarita. That day, outside house, you were just trying to save her life. I never thanked you for that. You're welcome. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just... happy. How huh. can First time in a while. That's the best thing. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. How about this one, little man? each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Oh, poor Kenny.
<laughs> One month later. Good place. So it was when she was kicked out from the new frontier. Um, come out. Come out of there now. All right, all right. It's just me. do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. He needs me. You have to give AJ back, please. He needs me. I need him. That's just not gonna happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but here. Ages. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. It Thank calmed you. him down. <sighs> this. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're I'm heading. I'm gonna fight this. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me... Staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. Don't shaking head. 
would be the better thing to do. Okay, so that's what's happened. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> and he's Eric. Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? Yeah, I do. What? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Don't give up. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. To know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I think I have to do that. All right, I'll do it. Sorry, man. Well, where is he? He's telling me, man. He's he's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you and your friends. You better hope she doesn't. 
Por. I've got it. I have to do that. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Finally. Oh, Doctor. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm. Good to see you. Yeah, they'll like each other, I think. 